Good morning, all you junkies out there. Got Maggie and Paul here. Hi. And well, we got a lot to cover today, so let's just get right to it. I believe this is going to be one hot mess of a day. Uh, there were like seven or eight buses, who knows, way out there. And there's a couple of buses here. Hey, how you doing? How about you? Pretty good. There's Charlie. Everybody say hi, Charlie. A lot, a lot of school kids. Now I know one of the uh, one of the kids is gonna be here. One of the schools. Good morning. Again. <laughs> oh, these are just kids. Just keep on going. All right. <laughs> Why'd you stop? Okay. Well, you go that way, I go this way. <laughs> that was her. Okay. All right. Good morning, Bush Gardens. How are you doing? Today? There we go. All set. Thank you All much. set. And uh, so security and check-in was a breeze. We just got to wait for my wife, wherever she is. Ah, there she is. All right, let's go ahead and get our wrap sheet. So we'll hop in line here. We'll cut through the school. <laughs> hey. And we'll head over to guest relations. Which does not look like that much of a line today. Yay. Thanks for hitting me. I didn't hit you. You're yeah. <laughs> not All righty. We'll squeeze over here. How are we doing today? All right. Nope, not that one. Uh, we need to get a rack sheet. I figure it's best to just give you the... Especially if you have a, a unique name, unique last yes. name. So, uh, and how's the YouTube channel going? Oh, it's going great. It's good, good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Over there. We got Willie Hardly, uh, I mean, hard at work. And we have Cassandra back there, too. Hi, Cassandra! Yay! Good morning, all you wonderful, wonderful ambassadors. I'm going to give a shout out to this crew because I'm sure 
from the last time we were here that we have gotten a couple of these guys subscribing. I'm pretty sure because uh, I got I got about 10 subscribers from the last time. So thank you all. A good shout out to the crew over here. And uh, thank you again. Have a wonderful day, guys. Just to let y'all know, this is the last weekend for Mardi Gras. So, depending on uh, when this video comes out, <laughs> depends on if you have a chance to visit for Mardi Gras or not. We are on Aranguazi, and uh, Aranguazi is a RMC hybrid. It takes you up, I think, uh, 206 feet. And then it drops you at 91 degrees, and you can reach speeds of 78 miles an hour. As I believe two or three inversions. We can sync both of these up together. And here we go. So, yeah, I'm pretty good at syncing them together. gonna float a little bit. I know you guys were probably looking right here at the seat for most of the time. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. We'll, we'll adjust that on the next ride. So that is Aniguazi. We got some gators behind us. And uh, it's kind of appropriate because I found out today is biology day. And that's why we got a lot of schools here today with uh, field trips. Uh, learning all about the animals. So chances of them being on the roller coasters, uh, we may have a chance of them being on the coasters. But uh, yeah, today is biology day and we're gonna have some fun. 
Well, folks, the next ride on our list is Cheetah Hunt. It is a ride made by Intamin. It has three launches, one inversion, and a beautiful coaster tree on the top right there as we're looking at it. Yep. This is a wonderful ride. It's kind of a family-ish ride. It, it is thrillful, especially the launches. Uh, but we have nine total cheetahs at home, and we are always looking to change up their day every single day to make sure that it's always fun and exciting. And we accomplish that in a variety of different ways, one of those being our cheetah runs. Now, the cheetah runs that you're going to see here at Bush Gardens are going to look a little bit different than what you might expect a cheetah to do out in Africa. So, cheetahs out in the wild, they are running for survival. They only catch their prey around 50% of the time, so this means they're not always guaranteed. Now here at Bush Gardens, we offer our cheetahs 100% of their food every single day, no matter what. So the purpose of the run changes. Instead of for survival, it's going to be for fun. It's going to be for physical and mental exercise. So we really focus on that fun side of the runs. We always look to make sure that these are super exciting. Now in order to bring PR out here to run, we do have to set up some equipment on the habitat that you see behind me, which is what some of the trainers are doing. So we are going to create a pathway for PR to run. And today, we really want to focus on speed and acceleration. So we're going to have our pathway be down and back in a simple straight pattern. That's going to allow PR to accelerate really quickly. Now, depending on the goal of the session, we can change up the patterns. We have a really unique run system here at Fish Gardens. We have removable pulleys that allow us to create different pathways. So we have the track go around trees, around rocks, and zigzag patterns. You name it, there's lots of different ways for us to mix it up. But today, we're focusing on that speed, which is what I'm sure all of you are here for. That's what you want to see. Uh, but once we have that pathway established, we're going to take a long green string, which is what Josh is doing. We're going to feed it through that pathway and attach it all the way back to the left side of the habitat on that machine over by Sarah. Now, that machine is the powerhouse of our setup. It's actually connected to a car battery, believe it or not. Uh, so we're able to reach speeds as fast, if not faster, than our cheetahs. Now, speaking of speed, Cheetahs are the world's fastest land mammal. Can anyone take a guess? You can shout it out. How fast do you think a cheetah can run? All right, everyone was spot on. You all are in the right range. So 60 to 70 miles per hour are typically the fastest speeds that we're going to see from cheetahs, not only out in the wild, but right here at Bush Gardens. So one of our record holder cheetahs, believe it or not, she is almost 13 years old. She's one of our oldest that we have here at Bush Gardens. She has been clocked in at 64 miles per hour. So those speeds are definitely achievable right here on this habitat. It's incredibly impressive to see. Now, that record holder, her name is Nate, but today you're getting to meet Kiara. And I will argue that Kiara is probably quickly approaching Nate on that record speed because Kiara has learned a lot in her last few years here at Bush Garden. So she joined our team several years ago. She joined us from Columbus Zoo. And when she first got here, we actually had to teach her how to run, which may sound silly. The world's fastest land mammal. Why would we need to teach them how to run? But just like you and I learn how to walk and run, so do cheetahs. And we do that through positive reinforcement training. So out in the wild, cheetahs are going to learn through trial and error, through failures and successes. Now, they're going to do the same exact thing here at Bush Gardens as well. They're going to learn through all of that. But we help them along using that positive reinforcement training and what that is, is we're reinforcing or rewarding the behaviors that we're looking for, which in this case is going to be a run. And if there's any incorrect behavior, we just choose to ignore it. We always want to focus on the positive, set our animals up for success, and make sure that they have fun. And they always have the choice to participate in anything that we ask them to do. So Kiara right now is hanging out behind the scenes in what we call our Korean room. She's getting ready for the run. She's able to see as much of the setup as you all are. Now, when we ask Kiara to come out here on the habitat, if she decides she'd rather hang back in the shade, that's totally okay. This is what we'll do. Absolutely nothing. So we're never going to force them to do anything they don't want to do. Instead, 
We hope to make these sessions as fun and exciting as possible so that they want to participate. So that is really the goal in anything that we ask of our animals. Now, a funny story about Kiara. When we first introduced her to the lure run setup, uh, we, we introduced all of our cheetahs the same way. And we introduced them to a feather lure, which is what you can see Josh tying onto that string right now is the target that all of our cheetahs chase after. And when we first introduced this to Kiara, she would hiss at it, she would spit at it, she definitely did not want to run after it. So we had to work with Kiara and figure out how to make it exciting for her to chase after. And we did that using that positive reinforcement training, carrying all of her favorite things with that feather lure. And I will tell you, that hard work has paid off because Kiara is definitely one of our best runners now here at Cheetah Run. Now, cheetahs are built for speed. We already mentioned how they can reach those top speeds of 60 to 70 miles per hour. They have a wide variety of adaptations from the tip of their nose to the tip of their tail that allow them to reach those speeds. Now, cheetahs are sprinters. They are not marathon runners, which means they can only maintain their top speeds for around 30 seconds to a minute tops. So today's presentation will probably be one of the quickest that you'll see in the park today, but definitely one of the most impressive. And cheetahs are able to accelerate to those top speeds in under three seconds. And Kiara is definitely one of our best accelerators out of all nine cheetahs. So when she comes out running, we are going to ask her to come out of that gate in the far left-hand corner of the habitat. That is where you're going to want to focus your eyes and cameras and all of your attention because that's where the action is going to start. And it looks like we have everything ready. Kiara looks ready. Now what we're going to do, one last thing to set Kiara up for success. We are gonna give her a countdown. We're gonna count down from five to one, and on the one, when Kiara is ready, that gate will go up, uh, go up and she'll come running out. But first, I need to see how loud all of you can be. So I'm gonna give you a test question. Are you guys ready to see a cheetah run? Yeah! All right, amazing, count down with me, starting at five, four, four three, three, two, one. And she's going the other way. <laughs> Thank you. 
before she does when they've done, done a job well done. Which, speaking of, Kiara has done a fantastic And that job. is uh, the cheetah run. Kiara has... That's uh, 11.45 and, uh, well, it looks like all the uh, rides are closed again due to high winds. So, we're going to go ahead, head up to the past member lounge and grab some lunch. Isn't that a great view behind us? We got Cheetah Hunt, Iron Gwazi, Shikra, and off over here we got uh, Falcon Fury and uh, Swings over there. Oh yeah, way over here you got the swing, but we'll have to check that out when they actually open up the past member lounge. So just a beautiful view up here, isn't it? Yeah, again, all the rides are pretty much shut down because of high winds. So we decided to go ahead and take lunch. Up here at the past member lounge, you get the best views of the Serengeti. And right up here we have zebras. And I believe those are impalas. And the giraffes are hanging out way up there. Just a beautiful sight. Looks like they're coming up close to the water to maybe get a drink. All right, guys, this is Cheetah Hunt. A ride by Intamin with three launches that launch you from zero to cheetah in no time. Like that! And that was Cheetah Hunt. Okay, this is Cobra's Curse, guys. It is a family coaster. It is... It is a family coaster. It does not have any inversions. But it does spin. So that's what you have to look forward to, the spinach. I know. The dance awakens. My power grows. And another unique feature to this, it's got an elevator lift. And what 
I usually say is round and round she goes where she stops nobody knows One good spin and then I think the wind pushed us around the other way. So I was trying to get it that way and it didn't go. <laughs> and that is Cobra's Curse. As we said, it's just a spinning coaster. And the spin is well, good luck. It all depends on the wind, the weight. And everything else, it's all random. It's all free spin. No control. No control over the spin. Well, we tried to get you a, a ride on Montu, but uh, unfortunately it's down for technical difficulties. And um, it's unknown if it may come up and run today. So uh, there are gonna be a few rides that are down along with it also being breezy some of the rides may be delayed so what we're going to try to get you as many rides in today as possible we'll give you a ride po view with the reaction well folks our next ride that we're going to be on is called the serengeti flyer it is an sns screaming swing it takes you okay well let, let's just say the height of the ride is 105 feet but the swing will take you 135 feet and i believe it was at i, I think it was 65 miles an hour something along those lines but uh yeah we're going to go ahead and uh hop right on all right guys this is the serengeti flyer it's an sns screaming swing takes you 135 feet up in the air at 67 miles an hour something around there something like that come on get in there ah Ooh, ooh, that's too tight. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Just. My stomach is like. Here we go. Okay. That, one more. That good? Okay. All right. That should be breathable. <laughs> nice and tight. Yeah, but. Uh, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. They like to keep you in here tight so you don't swing out. Or or like we did in the youngin' days, when we get to the high point, we jump like off. to jump off. <laughs> Not going to happen on this one, trust me. I don't want to be flying in the air at 135 feet up. <laughs> so, <coughs> But it is in there tight.
Now it looks like they just started the rides back up again. Yep. Most of them were due to uh, high winds. High winds. Uh, the panel's still green, so that means there's no lightning. And well, it's only, uh, I would say it's mostly sunny. It's like 82, 83 degrees. It's getting warm, yeah. yeah. It's getting warm. It's getting so, warm, but it's let's listen for the uh, platform clear starting ride. All green. There's all green. Scan platform. Scan platform. You have to repeat everything. Scan platform. Platform clear, starting ride. There we go. It's uh, <coughs> to slow us down. To slow us down. And we got air time. Yeah. Falcon's Fury. A 330 foot drop tower. Designed by Intamin. But unfortunately, she is not in operation today. Uh, I heard that lately they are doing some test runs on it, but the work walls are still up and they're still going through routine maintenance. Next on the list is Scorpion. And I thought it was closed today. So, well, if Scorpion is running, I guess we'll have to ride it. I saw it running. I see people over there. So we may not be able to get Falcon's Fury, but we can get Scorpion in for you. A very, very rough ride. And one that I am not personally fond of. <laughs> All right, this is Scorpion. The oldest, the oldest roller coaster here. It's made by Schwarzkopf. And uh, it does one loop. So, and, and it is old, so it's gonna be kind of rough. 
See, there's the one loop. And a whole bunch of corkscrew. So, with the seat in front, I don't know how much you're gonna see. But I got it aimed up above the seat, so we'll see. <laughs> said old and rough yeah good thing we're not old and rough yet <laughs> okay folks this is this is a sand serpent it's a I guess they call it a wild mouse ride I don't remember who manufactured it but it's not that high and it's just very weird around the turns. You'll see what we need. Whoa, see what I mean? Yeah. Whipping around the turns. Whipping around the turns. But it feels like you're gonna fall off. Yikes! Oh, holy crap! Man! Hard work! <laughs> brakes! Good brakes, too! Good brakes, too! And then a drop! Whee! Around the Q house! Sharp turn and a weird, weird turn. Oh. Uh. Oh. And then the weird braking system. <laughs> Brakes. <laughs> Brakes. Oh. Brakes. <laughs> brakes. Oh, wheels. Brakes. Nope. Wheels. Slowing down. And there we are. Sand Serpent, the Wild Mouse. So the next ride on our list is Kumba. The only thing is we are waiting again for another delay due to high winds in the area. Now Kumba is 30 years old this year. It is a B&M coaster. It has a corkscrew uh, actually, it's double corkscrew that interweave with each other. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, the Kuba, as well as all other attractions at Bush Gardens, are currently experiencing a short delay due to high winds in the nearby areas. We do apologize for the inconvenience, and we cannot estimate the length of the shutdown. Once again, the Kuba, as well as all large scale attractions in the nearby area, are currently experiencing a short delay due to high winds in the nearby area. Thank you for your patience, and we hope to get you on soon. Thank you. As you just heard over the EPA, there's a short delay due to high winds in the area. Now, 
Yeah, there's certain things, certain conditions that roller coasters cannot run in. If it's very cold and if it's windy. Uh, the reason behind the wind is these coasters are set up in a, in a way that in order to complete the cycle, to go through the whole entire track, they cannot have really that much wind resistance. And if we got 30, 40 mile per hour gust of wind, and it's a headwind, that'll slow you down. So it's a possibility that you can't go through a loop, go valley, something along those lines. So as soon as we uh, can get going here, we'll be put on Kumba and uh, we'll go for a ride on Kumba. Now, uh, I do believe, I, I think it's Swahili. Um, Kumba stands for roar. So there's a, there's a lot of um, special names for things in this park that has a meaning. And uh, the reason why they called this Kumba or roar is because they did not fill any of the structure with sand to deaden the sound so yeah it's going to be loud I'm bound to give you a headache but here we are giving you a ride on kumba all right here we are kumba a b m coaster yeah. <laughs> 60 miles an hour, let's go! The trick is hold your head forward so your head doesn't smack back and forth on the on the red on the shoulder. Yeah, restraint. Alrighty guys. And that was Kumba. Alright, so this is a Congo River Rapids. It's also considered a family ride. You're in a raft with 12 people and you go into the water. And here's the first bump. See? Gentle bump. Watch out for the people behind us. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we go say that. They like to spray. Yeah. 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 Okay, now my butt's all wet. Toes mine. <laughs> yeah. Glad we got a towel. Yeah. I think something is Oh. Whoever lands on this side is the one getting the water. Yeah. Like going down there. Like no way. Okay, I can't wait. Great, and I got my wrap sheet in my pocket. You're getting one right yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoever's going yeah, back for us getting it. Yeah. Oh, yes. It looks like it's in that one. We're dead. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Can I have a big one? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Woo. I have a lot of them. Okay. And these would be more like the English brand. They should. I think that they are. Oh, I got one side over. Can we, like, put this around? Thank you for protecting myself. No, I'm getting all the bumpy rock now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay, then I'll pull that. Oh. We're actually going up river. Okay. <laughs> that was weird. I know, we were just sitting there. We were just sitting there for a while. <laughs> ah, that's why. A little eddy current. A little eddy current there, so we were just going to sit there. She didn't get too wet. <laughs> okay, guys, this is Tigris. It's a Skyrocket 2 roller coaster. And here we go. down time. It is a uh, just a fun roller coaster, also made by B&M. 
and uh, well, it drops. It's a drop coaster, and it has no floor. Watch the floor drop. Bye. And here we go. Iconic view from up here. <laughs> and drop. Now Chikra. And last but not least, Air Grover. Unfortunately, Air Grover is currently closed for maintenance, I believe. Yeah. Well, we'll see what it says here. Yeah, they got it all closed. And the sign, of course, because it's a windy day, the sign is on the ground. And uh, it is closed for essential maintenance. So folks, yep, Air Grover. Unfortunately, we won't be able to ride Air Grover today. What a Aww, shame. Darn. But we did get, we did get uh, Air Grover in, uh, I'm sure within the past month or so. So, but we didn't take a video of it. Oh well, I'm, I'm sure we got a video of it somewhere. But uh, so. sure. that will be it for today. Uh, it was a wonderful day here. It, it was biology day, so we had a lot of kids, a lot of students coming in from schools all over the place for their field trip. And, uh, and it was windy, so a lot of rides we had to actually wait to get on because of the fact that, uh, yeah, well, they can't run the roller coasters and rides when it's uh, windy. Could cause some problems on the coaster. So, but uh, yeah, that will be it for today. Um, is that it? Yeah, I guess yeah. that's it. Yeah, we're gonna go get our bonnets and then we're gonna call it a day and head home. So that's it from the Bush Gardens Junkies, guys. All the rides. See ya. See ya.